hello 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 youtube welcome back to my channel today i want to give you guys a little life update some bittersweet i was gonna say exciting but it's not necessarily exciting it's bittersweet news that i have decided to leave my job at now marketing group A few days ago, I was in Long Island at my dad's house with family and there's something about being with my dad that really allows me to step outside of myself and see myself from another point of view and, perspe and in that put things in more perspective. And in taking time with family and being with my dad, I was able to really reflect on just everything, on how I've been doing. And on Thursday, I made a video that I'm going to show for you guys in just a minute here. It's part of kind of Julia's anti-highlight reel vulnerable video series. I made a video because I was like, I really need to just like verbal, I'm a verbal processor. So talking through things always helps. And I wanted to make the video to just be able to kind of capture everything I was feeling. Little did I know that that video would start a chain reaction of thoughts and processing for me to really just start recognizing how far I've strayed from basic self-care. I was watching my own YouTube videos and noticed in multiple videos on, cause I'm recording, I tend to only record on Saturdays and Friday afternoons. And so it was one of those days and it was then therefore a busy day because I was getting as much of my brand deal and consulting and all that kind of work done as I could so that I still then had free time with Matt and to rest, which has been something that I've literally started to feel like I need to earn, which is not the case. And I saw myself, it was like 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. and I was like, oh, I haven't eaten anything today yet. And I'm starving, but I'm just gonna do this quick thing first. And I watched myself in multiple videos neglect eating so that I could get something done. And in just, I realized, I was like, oh my God, I've started to use food as a reward for getting something done rather than a basic necessity. And I'm sure, I mean, you guys can see the puffy eyes, the I haven't been sleeping well, I haven't been fueling myself well, I've not been resting enough. A little Julia's video journal. Cause I had a mental breakdown today. <sighs> because I am stretched too thin. I am working too hard, doing too much. And it's all stuff that I've done to myself. Like I work my full-time job, but I have a consulting client that I do work for on my nights and weekends and I do brand deals and I've got my YouTube channel. I have a mentee that I mentor through this program through the University of Buffalo. I'm on the board as a volunteer, the board of directors for the University of Buffalo School of Management Alumni Association. Just a few of the things. And as a result, I have felt like I am never not working. And a lot of it is stuff that I've taken on myself. And I broke down to my dad about it this morning, just telling him like, I just feel so overwhelmed with how much I'm gonna need to get done on Sunday. I have so much work to do on Sunday between brand deals, consulting stuff, and then just like home stuff. I've been away for a week, so I need to do laundry, cleaning, like. And it has resulted in me literally having so little time spent resting this year. January, February, March, half of April, three and a half months. I've spent so little time resting and so much time working in front of a screen like putting my brain to max capacity for creativity, just all the things. And my dad asked me today, he's like, do you enjoy what you're doing with all these things you just mentioned? And the reality is I do, but the joy has severely diminished across all of them because there are too many of them and because I'm not getting enough rest. And it makes me feel sad. It makes me feel sad to realize that I have decided to overwork myself and now I'm suffering and feeling burnt out and feeling like nothing is as fun as I'd like it to be, as it used to be. And so it's very hard for me to not feel guilty because it's my own fault. And I should just say it's my own doing. I shouldn't put fault 
that automatically just creates more guilt in my body. <laughs> and it's just been so hard. Not to mention dealing with the emotions of like my stepmom's cancer diagnosis and just seeing my dad get older. It's very hard. <laughs> and it's been very emotional. <laughs> and... <sighs> In talking to my dad, I realized that I've got work to do. I need to really, really start, number one, saying no more. I need to just start operating with more boundaries, not taking on as much, finding areas where I can scale back and do less so that I can rest more, so that I can enjoy what I'm doing more. And I also need to find a different way. This is the more important thing for me to do and the harder thing for me to do is trust myself that I'm going to get it all done because I always do. Somehow I always manage to make it work. And that goes back to the thing I just said before. Like I do need to start saying no and taking on less so that I don't always have to figure out how to manage to get it all done. But the amazing thing about me is I'm a machine sometimes and I just hustle and get shit done and I can make I can make so much insert X, like in an hour, I can do so much. So I know I'm going to get it done. And because I know I'm going to get it done, why do I let it stress me this much then? Why do I let myself get so overwhelmed and anxious when I know I can get it done? I'm just like creating a pile of mud for myself that I'm just getting stuck in over and over. The mental side of it is so much harder. It's so hard for me to, it's hard for me to say no and to not overload my schedule. It's really hard for me to do that. It's hard for me to rest. I literally feel guilty when I rest. Um, And I'm working on that in therapy. It's what I spent a large portion of my last session on and what I'll definitely be spending a lot of time on in my session on Wednesday. Oh my God. And even just, I just had the thought of, oh my God, I have therapy Wednesday. How, I don't even have time to go to therapy on Wednesday. It's like, of course I do. Am I kidding? Even just realizing I had therapy just created another like thing in my body. I felt it. Ugh. So yeah, I've got a lot of work to do and I wanted to pop on make this little video for myself so that I can look back at some point and remember that I was in the mud and that I was really working on changing how my body processes all of this, changing how I structure everything. I want to find more ease and more joy again. I want to feel lighter again. Things feel heavy and sticky. So yeah, just a little video coming to you from the mud. The work is hard, it's not easy, and I'm in it, I'm in the thick of it. I don't have some special silver lining or lesson learned yet, but I'm doing it. I'm practicing the awareness, calling myself out when I recognize that like I'm in control, right? It's not like I'm sitting here and the only thing I'm upset about is my stepmom. That would be something else because that would be like, you know, it's like there's nothing I can do about that but I'm in control of so many of the things that are making me anxious and stressed and overwhelmed. And so it's a matter of re-relating to them and figuring out the order of priorities and just making my plan and working the plan and (sighs) reminding myself that it's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. So in case you needed that reminder today, it's all going to be fine. And so I am going to be entering a season of shift and change and transformation. That's really what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I wanted to incorporate the little video that I made that really started me to get thinking about everything and be able to lead me to the right decision. While it is scary to leave a full-time job, for sure. I know that with my LLC and being able to do consulting and brand deals and again it's like it's so funny I automatically go into like describing the ways that I'm going to make money. And the reality is is the reason why I'm making this decision is because I need to focus on other things aside from money. 
I need to focus on my wellness. So what I will say is I'm gonna laugh and paint and read and write and create content that brings me joy because what I need to focus on right now is getting tapped back into my vitality, my creativity and my confidence. And I'm so excited to figure out what that looks like and bring you guys along in in that journey and that process in the way that feels right for me. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for sticking along. I'm excited to see where I go from here. And yeah, there's no doubt that I'm gonna be bringing you guys some fun stuff and yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to share more with you guys and yeah. If you guys wanna support me in this next chapter, Hit the thumbs up and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.